What's up, y'all? Welcome to Uncle Bird's Barbecue, and I'm your favorite uncle, Uncle Bird. In today's video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you the Uncle Bird smoke chicken in a bag method for juicy chicken each and every time. So all you got to do is gather all the tools I'm gonna lay out for you and uh, have a, a basic ability to follow some simple instructions, and then you're gonna be the neighborhood chicken champion. Guaranteed, T. It. I gotta get a better background. This is this is this is a little bit too plain. All right, today we have a three pound whole chicken that we're gonna prepare for the grill. And the tools that we'll be using today is our six inch Dexter Russell boning knife and our jacquard. Before we get started, we'll use our handy dandy rated knife sharpener to uh, put a, a quick edge on our blade. So we've already got that part done. So let's go ahead and, and open up the chicken. We'll start down here by the legs. We can actually flip it over. Chicken look ugly. And then we just open it up along the backbone. On the back, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, here we go. And uh, inside, there's normally, with these uh, chickens, there's normally a uh, giblet packet and normally a neck bone. So you'll want to go ahead and get those out of there if they're in there. And in this case, it just had the uh, everything in one packet. All right, so what you want to do is we'll need to prepare the, the birds so that. Uh, when we trim it up, we'll be able to separate the skin away from the meat so that we'll be able to get seasoning underneath the skin and get to all pieces of the meat. So, this is what it looks like upside down, all right? So, this is the area that we're going to want to trim away on both sides. Uh, and that's going to allow us to access the thigh. Right here. I'll trim this a little longer so that extra skin to protect the breast. Okay. I'll cut this one here. Quarter. Alright. Breast is protected and it's opened up so we'll be able to get the seasoning and everything. So you can use your knife to separate the silver skin right here. So when you do that you see how we'll be able to access the inside of the thigh as well as the inside of the breast. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Silver skin. You can use your finger or the tip of the knife. So now we'll be able to get seasoning all in there. All right, at the top, right, sit down. And then you'll want to kind of pull this down and separate it. I would only go about halfway down the uh, breast. So that way, uh, when it goes on the smoker, it doesn't shrink too much and pull the breast all the way up. So you just have to take your finger, and I can start with one finger and work around. Then you'll be able to separate the entire breast. All in one pretty one pretty much one shot. So we'll do the other side. So now you've got little pockets that you'll be able to just drop the seasoning in on the top side of the breast. And then we'll need to open up the leg quarter so we'll be able to do the same thing to get to the outside and to the inside of the meat. And what you want to do is you take your finger, you basically you want to take your finger and work up underneath the skin and come over and then you just kind of open up a pocket and we'll come about half to about right here. We'll separate the skin up until about this point. We'll leave this on so to help uh, keep this, the skin from uh, shrinking too much. All right, so, so here we go. All right, see, boom. Now we got that finger. Now you see how that, now you can take your entire finger. Let me do it with this one. Take the entire finger. You can see how that entire finger, boom, now it's made a little pocket. And we don't even really have to separate it that much because we'll be able to we'll be able to take our seasoning and drop it into this uh, little pocket that we've got here, as you see. And we do the same thing for the other side. Remember, find that line right here, right here where the, the uh, leg meets the quarter. Now, sometimes you'll go through there, don't worry. Uh, with the smaller chickens, the skin is uh, thinner, uh, and it's so it, it'll be it'll tear sometimes. So that's all right work with it. You see, now you've got all of that area that you'll be able to season up. And the final thing that we'll do is we'll take the jacquard and we're going to jacquard this uh, chicken. So this is going to help facilitate the brining and the jacquard also physically severs the muscle fibers so that when they, when you apply the heat to them, 
uh, and it starts to contract, it doesn't squeeze the muscle fiber, it doesn't squeeze the moisture out of the individual muscle fibers. And then we're also going to brine it, so that brine is going to help uh, dissolve uh, the muscle proteins, and uh, it'll help. So it basically, it's denaturing the protein, and then when it comes back together, it forms into a matrix in which it traps water. So we really only have to hit the breast uh, twice, uh, and then also the leg quarter will hit that twice. And the uh, because this is only about three pound bird, so here we go. I like to hit it at the joint. So I like to hit it about right here, this way, and then at the joint. We don't have to do anything to the wing. All we gotta do now is trim away these nasty bits. And if you notice, I did not uh, trim away uh, a lot of the, I did not take away a lot of the fat, and that's because we're gonna use, put this on the grill, and that fat is gonna be, a, that fat is gonna be uh, a protective layer to help protect the brush from drying it out and it'll also uh, baste it uh, while it cooks as well. So you just leave that on there, it won't be a problem. And that's basically how you do it. Now all we gotta do is drop it in the brine. All right, time to make the brine. The brine is simple. All you need to do is pour one cup of water into your measuring cup, and then you wanna pour any type of plain salt. It don't have to be blessed by a rabbi, it don't have to be a Himalayan monk. Just plain salt. You wanna pour it into the water reaches the one and a half cup or 12 ounce of mark. You're going to pour the resulting slurry into a one gallon container and fill that to the one gallon mark and make sure that you stir it well and now your brine's ready to use we need to put the chickens in the bag so we can pour the brine over top of them just make sure with your bag that you flip the the lip inside out so that it the uh, seam doesn't get dirty and uh, when we go to close it we'll get a proper seal uh, when you're putting your chickens in the bag you want to make sure you put the chickens in breast first. Uh, that way the wings don't get caught on the seam and get it dirty. All right, as you can see, we're able to get it in uh, with a minimal of fuss. And look how clean the seal is on the bag. All righty, we're good to go. All we got to do now is just uh, pour the brine over top of it, make sure it's completely submerged, seal it, and put it in the fridge, and we'll come back and uh, check on it tomorrow. All righty, now it's time to season the birds up. All right, so all we basically got to do is take it out of the brine. And we'll rinse it off. Trip a little bit. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to season it uh, using the Uncle Bird's Hen Peck seasoning, making special, taking special care to make sure that we get the seasoning all underneath the skin. So. For today, we're going to use the hen peck seasoning, and we're going to be using uh, a little bit of raw cane sugar. I like to put the sugar on first. You'll see how, now by separating the skin, you see how we'll be able to season up this entire bird, all the way inside the thigh and inside of the breast. Get that on there. And open up our pocket. This is why we made a pocket. Boom! Drop the seasonings right in there. We'll just have to drop some into the pocket. Go. Set them up. Now we got to do the breast. Do the same thing. Just pull it back and then drop the seasoning. Start with the sugar. Down. We'll season almost the entire breast. And it'll be covered with the skin and the fat will be based in it. And it'll help the flavors release from the spices that are in the hen peck rub. Keep in mind you can use any salt-free seasoning. So it doesn't have I know you don't have access to this just yet, but you can use any salt-free seasoning. Mrs. Dash works a treat. I love the Mrs. Dash. Now you don't have to put a whole lot of seasoning on the outside of the bird because 
it'll be it'll be thoroughly seasoned underneath the skin. Really all we've got to do it. This one is ready for the smoker. Boom. All right, y'all. Bird's been on for about 30 minutes, so it's time we go see what they're doing. All right, we're looking good. So it looks like the temperature dropped down to about 250. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more wood so we can bring the temperature up and uh, get it back up to the 300 range, which is where I like to, to really be when I'm uh, smoking the uh, chicken. So, all right, everything's looking good. Um, I'll add some more wood and I'll come back in, uh, spray them here in about 30 minutes. All right, I think we're about an hour in. It's time to hit him with some spritz and then we'll also get a temperature on these jokers. Um, I just use plain distilled white vinegar. Uh, to spray them that'll keep them tender because acetic acid in the vinegar will help tenderize the chickens and the fact that you're keeping it moist it will allow the chicken to absorb more of that good wonderful hardwood smoke now the tool i'm using here is an instant read thermometer you have got to get you one of these so that you know when the food is actually done because you have to remember your meat is going to be done by temperature not by time time just gives you a, a loose guide to know hey and we, we should be around this temperature at this point in time so but the bottom line is you need one of these this one is made by lava tools it'll give you a readout at about three seconds i'll make sure i put a, a link down in the description so we want to go ahead and pull these off typically i like to pull them off when the breast is at 163 and the thighs around 172 uh, we'll go ahead and put them inside of a bag and then after we put them inside of a plastic bag we'll put those bags into a cooler that has been preheated for about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, and that will give a chance for the juices and the temperature, the heat to redistribute throughout the meat. You just wanna slide the chicken into the bag using the same technique that we did when we put them in the bag to brine. Make sure it goes, you flip the seal inside out and put the meat in breast side first. Now, I had already prepared the preheated cooler, but I just wanna give you guys a quick glance to see what that would look like. All right, so what we want to do is just fill the cooler up halfway with hot water, let it close the top, let it sit for about 30 minutes, pour the water out, dry it out, and then you just uh, sit the chickens in there. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. What we're going to do is we're going to pull these chickens out after they've rested for about 30 to 45 minutes. And we're not going to use a knife, but a knife, none of that. We're going to use a cheap plastic spoon to break this chicken down. Now you're only going to be able to do this if you got good juicy chicken. Now if you got that dry stringy mess, you probably need to get out a jackhammer or a samurai sword. Look at this. Breaking down this juicy wonderful bird with just a plastic spoon. So as long as you use the Uncle Bird chicken in the bag method, you'll be able to break your chickens down with a plastic spoon too. Look at that. Now we do have a minimal amount of juice uh, in our work area, but if you notice it's not flooded with juice. That's because we gave it a time to rest and the juices are within the meat for us to enjoy. All right, everybody, that's how you do smoked chicken. Now just remember, somebody try to tell you that they got some juicy chicken, they smoke chicken, they grill chicken fire, they can't call with one of these. Nah, it ain't. It's your Uncle Bird, signing off from Uncle Bird's barbecue. Can't wait to see y'all next time. Holla.